Next. So how many, how many, um, top, how many points have we done? Number one is what? I can't hear you. Number one is what? What is the anointing? Yes? Where is the anointing? Good. How to identify the anointed? Good. The anointing that breaks the yoke. All right. Did you, did you enjoy the anointing that breaks the yoke? Yeah, I, that's my favorite point. The anointing breaks the yoke. Well, my favorite point from yesterday. The anointing breaks the yoke. No, not a knife, not an axe. Moses went to strive. If we had the time, we'd have talked about the anointing of the servant. He does not strive. He doesn't force. Force is a sign that there's no anointing. He doesn't strive. Hmm. You know, there's no force here. Move it. <laughs> okay. Where are we? The anointing in the field. Did you enjoy that? Are you going to buy the field? And then, what else do we talk about? Receive the anointed. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Next point. Walk in the blessedness of the transference. The, I like these words. The blessedness of the transference of spirits. You know, and I, I can talk about the transference of anointings generally, but I want to talk about the blessedness of the transference of a church growth anointing. Yeah. The blessedness of the transference of spirits. Such a beautiful sentence. Blessedness. The first time I heard somebody preach on this was Bishop Richard. I had gone back to the... I was also with you that day. We were in London Apache. And I had gone... I don't know. I think I was going to preach somewhere now. On my way back, I was... I wanted to attend the service. I was coming back home to Ghana. And then I went. It was Tuesday. No, it wasn't Tuesday. It was Saturday evening. Saturday evening, yeah. And Bishop Richard came and said he just wants to talk to us about the blessedness of the transference of spirits. How are spirits transferred? Now, there's a bit of confusion here. Can a man... Cause, where is the anointing? He thinks... Is it the, 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 it's on the anointed? It's with the anointed or it's in the anointed? So, I'm now talking about transfers. Now, now we've gone through identifying rankings. Beautiful. Now, you, what's the use of all this great anointing that you can't have? If, if you can never be called Bishop Dag, if we can't say that, if you, if you, can't, if you can't receive it, this Bishop Dag, then what's the point of all these discussions on the anointing if you are left out of it? How does it help us? John 3. John 3. A little known, most people don't know this truth here, this, that this is what happened. Because of John 3, 16, John 3, uh, John 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's very distracting from this part of John 3. John 3, 24. This is quite an unknown. Now, John was not yet cast into prison. What they're trying to say is that he was still ministering. Next verse, there arose a question, a discussion. Are you with me? <laughs> you know, if you are not interested, eh, you should tell me. No, no, you should tell me so that I don't cast my pearls. Before. So I'm telling you, I'm genuinely honest. If you are not alert, you know, should I tell you something about bishops? 1 Timothy 3.1. Also a little known thing, 1 Timothy 3.1. It says that, 1 Timothy, please, quickly. 1 Timothy 3 verse 1. If a man desires the office of a bishop, now, he's not talking about bishops. He's talking about those who desire the office. When I say bishop, don't think of a title. Think of a calling. 
Episcopos. Those who desire to oversee a lot of churches. Talk about the church growth anointing. If you have a desire to oversee a large ministry, it's a good thing. It's a good desire for you to have that. You should have, you should have that desire. Now, it's not it's talking about those who have it all. Don't think about the title, please. It's talking about those who desire to be an overseer of a sea. It's a good thing. Then it says in the next verse, it says in the next verse, a bishop, please, 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 quickly, verse, or it's gone off. A bishop must be blameless, which is talked about a lot. Number two, husband of one, which is talked about, but vigilant. It's a, it's a word that we all miss. You must be vigilant. You must be alert. You must be alive. Your eyes must be open. If you desire to oversee something big, when we are discussing the anointing, the Holy Spirit, the work of God, you, you, you are dead, you are down, you are not alive, your eyes are not open, there's no more for you to receive. Now you know. Now you know. You will not go far. You used to be more vigilant, you used to be more interested. Now, now you are grown, you are big, you are matured, you know what is being said. It's all about whatever they should keep making the points, no problem. You, you cannot have something big. Vigilant, your eyes, your eyes must be open. Your eyes must be open. You must be vigilant if you want to oversee something. That's why I say, if you are not interested, tell me. That's why you say, what about this person? I say, you shouldn't come. What about this person? You shouldn't come for the camp. What about this one? No, you shouldn't come. No, 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 not this, no, not this, that's another camp. No, 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 not this, not this, not that. I want vigilant people whose eyes are opened. I'm telling you, if you're not like that, you can't go far. I don't know why I stand there. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I'm just sharing with you about vigilance. Vigilance. Let your eyes be open. Be alert. Be on the edge of your seat. Takes concentration and interest and excitement to receive something. Yes. If you know what I'm saying, do what I'm doing. Do it. Just do it. Let's see. Now, there arose a question. John 3, 25. Right now, 25. John was not, not in prison, so he's still preaching. And the question came. Between, oh, please go back. Between John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. Okay? Next. They came to John and said unto him, He that was with thee beyond Jordan. They're talking about Jesus, right? To whom thou bearest witness, behold, look at this, the same baptizes and, talking about the anointing, all men. Yeah, let to. All men, talk about the blessedness. Blessedness of the transference of spirits. All men are coming to him. What's going on, John? People are going to him. Not so many coming to you. That's what they were saying to John. You're not pulling a crowd. They seem to be like Jesus' ministry more than your ministry. John is a very spiritual man. So John gave an explanation. Verse 26. 27, thank you. A man can receive nothing. He, what he was trying to say is that what you are seeing, the attendance you are looking at, you can't learn it. You can't study it. You can't read it. You can't buy a book. You can't go to a library. No. You see, thank you for telling me that you have books. You are a reader. Every leader must be a reader. I, I, I trust it. That's a blessing. And I, and I support it. And I'm a reader myself. But John explained why Jesus' church was bigger than his. So it's, it's, it's not about a difference in goodness. It's a difference in what we have received. What was transferred. 
That's what makes the difference between right. me and Jesus. He has received. He said, a man, when you see a man with something, he cannot have it except God in heaven gave it to him. This is serious. <laughs> and this is also confusing. It's confusing because received from heaven. I thought the anointing was in with and upon the man. So how did he receive it from heaven? It's confusing. Talking about the church growth anointing. They say it comes from heaven. Transfers. 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 Transfers of the anointing is possible. In this particular uh, point, we are only discussing the possibility of it. That it, it's there, it exists. Then, then the next session, we'll talk about how how it is transferred. That's then we are. We almost that's it. I don't know what else I'll teach after. I don't know what else we need. How does it come from heaven? Another confusing scripture. Every good, not some, every good and perfect. What gift is better? Jesus said, you know how to give goods to your children. How much more not? The Lord not give the Holy Spirit to those who ask. Another confusing scripture. But this is a beautiful explanation. Of why does Paul baptize more people than Nakoja? Why is it that all men come to Nathan, mm. but fewer men come to Olin? Okay. What's the explanation? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> no, show me 26. Show me 26. 26. Show me 26. All men come to him. A question arose. A question arose. Why is it that when I preach, you see, it's not to say that I don't have crusades. I have crusades. I have proper crusades. Yet, if you say I don't have crusades, it's not fair. The healing of the sick. I have testimonies, prophecies, miracles, many times. Creative miracles, healing miracles, prophetic miracles, financial miracles. To say that I don't prophesy, my eyes are not open, it's not true. Professor, I see. I see things. Even with my eyes closed, I see things. <laughs> it's not fair. Man. From my room, I can see things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see, yes. I'm there. I'm walking there. I've seen it. So why is it that somebody has more miracles than me? What causes it? And John said, a man can receive nothing. Except it be given to him from above. Every good and perfect gift comes from. It's confusing. If the anointing is inside the anointed, upon the anointed, and next to the anointed, then how come it comes from? Ah, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. If you just sit down, you stand for a long time. Now. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, <sighs> Numbers 11. Numbers 11. Numbers 11. Okay. Verse 1. And the people complained. And if you please go. And the Lord heard it. Here you hear this statement again. Moses had a church. The first church, the Bible calls the church in the wilderness. Moses is our quintessential pastor in the Old Testament. In fact, Moses is the Jesus of the Old Testament. And Moses himself prophesied, and it was uh, repeated by Stephen in Acts chapter 7, that there will arise unto you a prophet just like me. God will raise up out of you, and him, to him shall you hearken. That was the prophecy of Jesus Christ. So he said, he said, Jesus would be like me. 
That was the prophecy, yes. They will rise the prophet just like this. That's the prophecy. It's true. If you can receive it. <laughs> now, he had led this church for so long and he started to complain. The burden of the church was very high. So he said, the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. Next. Next. And he called the name of the place. And the multitude fell at last thing. And they said, who will give us flesh to eat? Next. Remember the fish. Egypt's fish. <laughs> the members wanted to backslide. When we were in the world, we had fish. There were some fish. You're preaching up. Then there were cucumbers. Cucumbers and melons. <laughs> we had some melons. Cucumbers and melons. Oh, we were in the world. <laughs> and the leeks. And the onions. I don't know what they are, they are thinking about. Onions are smaller, but they also work. Also work. They also work. And garlics are also smaller, and they are also working. So in verse 11, jump to verse 11. I don't have time to go all the way. Jump to verse 11. Moses said, why? Have you brought a problem? There is a point where ministry starts to feel like a problem. Why have you afflicted your servants? Have I not found favor? Don't you like me? And thou layest the burden of all these people on only me. Moses and associates. No matter how anointed one man is, he can't carry. He can't carry a church. So, next verse. Have I given birth to these people? Are they my children? Are these my children? I have my children at home. I've had this feeling before. And my children, they're only two, they're at home. And so all of this. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every good pastor reaches this place. So all of this. So all of this. I should carry them in my bosom as a nursing father. See, those who say there are no nursing fathers, Pastor G, they're actually nursing fathers right there in the scripture. As a nursing father buried the suckling child. It's right there. Yes, he bears, he bears the suckling child. Those who say there are no nursing fathers. Unto the land which thou swearest unto their fathers. Next verse. I enjoy this, you know. I enjoy this scripture. Where will I get flesh to give all these people? They are crying to me, give us flesh that we may eat. Next verse. I can't bear these people alone. Is there anything too heavy for you? Any part of the ministry that is heavy for you? Okay. 15. If thou deal thus with me, kill me. This is the suicidal stage of your pastor. Yes, every great man of God has suicidal phases of his life. Kill me, God. Just take me away. More of these people. You have a big Israeli funeral for me. If I found favor in your sight, then don't let me see my wretchedness. Next. And the Lord said, Gather to me 70 conreps. I need 70 of them. Look at this. Whom thou already knows to be elders. They all have churches. They are already, they're already leading. They have centers, they have churches, they preach. Everybody knows that they are elders. Some are pastors. Some are even reverends. And officers, that's the reverence. <laughs> officers over them. And bring them to the tabernacle of the congregation, which is bring them into the presence of God. See, Moses had a tabernacle with cloth around, and that's where the presence of God was. He said, bring them into the presence. Take them out of the world, out of the flesh, Bring them into a presence. 
that they may stand with thee. This is one of the most powerful verses in the whole Bible. There. I'll meet you at the tabernacle. That they may stand with thee. I like this sentence because it says that. Next verse, sorry, next verse. It says, and I will come and talk with thee there. But I was talking, talking to him. Oh. I was talking to him. This, this conversation is not the talking. There. There's a place of blessing. There's a place of blessing. Yes. No, no. We talk. That's why. That's why you have to leave home to wait on God. He departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. It takes departing to pray. You have to leave. That's why you don't pray because you're always praying in your room. Yeah, a real man of God he rents a three-bedroom house. Real man of God. One for the child, one for the marriage, and one for God. Real man of God has a room. He has a room yeah, so that he can depart to a solitary place. Two important keys, departing and solitary. Yeah, that's the, that's the prayer life of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Then he says, is the mystery, mystery, is the mystery. Blessedness, transference of spirits. I will take, now this is what answers the question of how does it come from above? Because God says, I will take. So the blessedness of the transfer is that God will take. God will take. The money is in your account, but the money is not yours. So the owner will take from this account and transfer it to this one's account. I will take from the one that is on you, not another one. You can have what is on another person. That is the blessedness of the transference of spirits. The one someone has, you can actually select and say, this one that this person has, I want God to come from above, God to take. It's possible to have the blessing of transfer. You to you. It's possible. It's possible. Possible. That's why someone told so you'll be turned into another man. As in, as in, not another spirit. There's a man I want to turn you into. There's a man I want to turn, I want to turn you into this man. I will take the blessedness. Is it the fact that it's possible? Is it like physics? It's like you can distill, you can diffuse. You can do fractionally this thing. <laughs> you can live a print. Like, what, what transfers are possible? How you come to bank transfers, you can do an international bank transfer. They'll ask you for your IBAN. International bank account number. Okay. Your IBAN and your SWIFT code. Mm. And in some countries, the SORT code. Wow. Then the account number. And it's possible to transfer from Zenith Bank to Chase Bank wow. in Missouri. Wow. It's possible. We can show you how to do it. That's what I'm telling you. It's possible. I'm not talking about how it's done. I'm not talking about it's possible. God said, I'll take the spirit that is on you and I'll put it on them so that, this, this is the beautiful part, so that they can bear the burden of the people with thee. What, what you were carrying, they can also carry it. What you were doing. You see, you were, you were sitting under a mega church of 6,000 people. And Iceberg can also carry, he can also carry 4,000 churches. Because I'll take the spirit that's on this one and I'll transfer it and I'll put it on this one. It's possible. It's, possible. it's called the blessedness of the transference. Of, the, ne the next time you see somebody walking in the anointing, and you see works which can only describe, be described as for God was with him. Remember to say to yourself, there are two things. Number one, this guy could receive nothing except it was given to him from above. That's the cause. Then number two, ask yourself, where did God pick? Where did God pick this one from to put it on him? To carry the same weight the burden of ministry. That's how Nahum described his ministry. The burden. <laughs> he called it the God is ministry, the burden of the universe. 
burden. No one had a burden. It's possible for spirits to be transferred. What spirits have been transferred to you as you stand here today? What spirits? Don't, 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 don't be theoretical or metaphorical. As you watch me now, what spirits have been transferred onto you? What spirits are what ancient spirits are working on you and sitting on you? It's mysterious. But it's the blessedness. This is why things don't work. Oh. This is why things don't work. They shall bear the burden of the people with thee. 18. 18. And say to the people, sanctify yourselves tomorrow. And you shall eat flesh, for you have wept in the ears of the Lord, saying, who give us flesh? For it's well with us to give us Egypt. Next verse. You will not eat one or two days. Five days. Is this talking about consecration? To prepare yourself for the anointing. Anointing will be transferred from somewhere, but the vessel must be ready. That's why we talk about vessel change. But we don't have time for that. Tony, a whole month, 21. And Moses said, the people are 600,000 footmen. Next, how will you give them flesh? 23. I'm looking for when they actually went to the tabernacle, if you can help me. Is the Lord has worked short? The Lord gathered good. Gathered 70 men of the elders and set them round the tabernacle. They've come for the meeting now. It's time for transfer. And the Lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him. And took. Yeah. You know, that's why me, I can, I can describe to you, they are a bit precious, so it will be difficult, but I can describe to you precious moments in an atmosphere of God's generals. Great mantles, like heavy ones. Yes, they are precious moments. And he gave it, God took it, and gave it to the 70 others. And it came to pass, that when the spirit rested, sir, sir, you may be an elder, you may be an officer, the spirit does not yet rest on you. You may be a pastor, you may be a shepherd. David was already a shepherd, but was not anointed. Elders and officers, you need the blessedness of the transference of spirits to change this world, to touch this world, to transform this world, to save souls, to build a house for God, to fulfill your calling. There must be a transference of spirits for the spirit to rest on you. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested on them, they prophesied and did not cease. It's not my favorite part. My favorite part is the next verse. But there remained two guys. Who were not, probably not elders. Probably not officers. The mysterious truth I'm going to give you now, which will be controversial. Mm. Who Moses didn't choose? Wow. Moses didn't choose them, not known to be elders. Wow. They were in the camp. They didn't come for the meeting. They weren't part. They weren't considered to be able to be part of the ministry. Some area boys. The Bible says the name of one was Eldad and the other one was Midad. And the spirit rested on them also. Maybe you were not invited. Yeah, you know, have you had that feeling? That you're not one of the main people. <laughs> you know, I've had that feeling many times. <laughs> See, one day my father said without thinking, he was just talking and just came and said that, I wouldn't have expected Joshua, no. Maybe, maybe. 
Yeah. It's not, you know, you know, like you're not, you're not, you're not. You don't seem to be like somebody who should be at that level of ministry. You don't seem to be one of those people. And even when they were choosing, they chose 70. You were not part. But God sees you. And He is the one who takes the spirit. He's the one. He sees you in the camp. Eldad, me dad. That's your name in the spirit. Eldad, me dad. Added on. God saw you. Moses himself didn't see. God saw you. Saw your eyes for the anointing. Your hunger and your vigilance. And he said, the spirit rested upon them. Now this is the part that pains me the most. They were of them that were written, which means they wrote their names down. There was a meeting. Oh. And they wrote, <laughs> they wrote their names, but after some deliberation, they said, no, it must be seven. It's okay. Take out all that. Katolomo Sayandes. Parabikanamachando Simlakile Sabatiso. One day there was a camp. There was a camp somewhere. There was a camp somewhere. And they had only the most spiritual people in the country. The country were supposed to go for this camp. Handpicked. From every church. Handpicked. If you, if you don't qualify, you know. When they got to my church, they chose four people. I was not one of them. Yeah. I was. It really pained me. Like I wasn't, I wasn't, yeah, the, the, the spirit, I wasn't, it really hurt me. It really hurt me. I was our dad, my dad. Like their names were written and they said, okay, we have to cancel some people. Cancel our dad. <laughs> we don't need that there. <laughs> ah, Yakolo, Peter. We're not chosen. You were far away in the camp. But God is the one with the real list. Your list is 70. His list is 72. His list is 72. I was not chosen for that camp. People were chosen. My friends. I was, I was seen as light. So I wasn't deep. Yeah. So that camp, that camp, when they finished, what do you do? I went for the DVD. As usual. I was in my room in the night watching that camp. One of my favorite camps. I will not tell you which camp. Day and night. And the anointing was flowing. The four friends that I were chosen over me. One, none of them are in ministry. One has left the church. And the other three, I don't know. I don't even know where they are. I don't know where they are. Moses didn't choose me. And when my name was written, they canceled it. You will not go. You are not part of the Tabernacle team. Tabernacle team, the TT. Kabu, maybe when they write the list, they wrote you as the side guy. Top 70, you are not part of it. The thing comes from God. The anointing is on a man, but it's God. God takes the anointing and transfers it. Maybe you are not part of the group. You are not part, you are the side guy. This guy on the side, that guy. That guy. Careful of your dad and me dad. And you know the funny part? The, ne the next verse, the 17, you know, a young man and said, came around and said, El dad and me dad are trying to join themselves. Karabo Tiando say, Charabi Kanando sir. Maybe you didn't make it for the camp, but in your room, in your bedroom, you can experience the blessedness of the transference of spirits. It is this. It's real. It is this. Then, in 28, Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men, answered and said, My Lord, Moses, stop, stop those guys. <laughs> stop those guys. Call that and they are telling them they are not part. They're not part of this calling. 
They don't have a share in this ministry. They are not partakers of this grace. They shouldn't wear that mantle. Who is that guy? What village is he from? Where did he come from to come and join? The main 70 are here. Who are those two guys? Blessedness of the transference of spirits. People are trying to say that you shouldn't be part. The anointing they look for, it doesn't depend on anyone. It's God. Anointing is up to you. Your eyes for the anointing, your reception to the anointing, your humility, paying the price of openness, paying the price of adjustment, paying the price of time. It's your time. You have time. But that one day, that's it. You feel like, tell me that I'm not anointed. No problem. Put the macaris down. Put the macanet down. Put the poimano down. Put the bosco down. Put the yugaliso down. And put my videos down. And you tell me that I'm not anointed. Leave me in the camp. And you go for the meeting. You go. You go. I'll pay the price of time. I will adjust myself. I will adjust myself. I'll pay the price of openness and humility. I'll pay the price of listening. I'll pay. I'll be in my room. Don't worry. One day you see. When you are prophesying, I'll also be prophesying. And you say that they should forbid me. And you know what Moses said? The one who the anointing was transferred from. He said, ah. Envious thou for my sake. Is it because of me? Like, you are, you are envious for me that like my anointing is gone. I would that all the people in the camp, everybody, you see, a true anointed man wants everyone. That's what Maurice Cerullo said. My life's calling. That's a strong statement. My life's calling is to travel around. You see, Cerullo, his sons, not too much teaching. You know. No, 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 no. His sons, yes, more of demonstrations. From now, you just hear the same. So, but as I asked them, so how does this start? So just start. Just start. You have it now. I've laid hands on you. Have it. Yes, some more of you participate. Pastor, I receive it. Go. You should receive it. I bless him as I say, go. <laughs> impartation, impartation, impartation. Impartation. I would that all God's and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. I would. I don't mind if they are, they are called to the tabernacle. I don't mind if it's the top 70. I don't mind if it's elder. I don't mind if it's me that. The blessedness of the transference of spirits that you can carry Bishop das- Bishop Dasman, which is a mixture of a Hagen, a Wesley, a, 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 a Bonkey, a, 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 a plethora, a thick mantle. The fact that you can have it, that is a blessing. That's what we are calling the blessedness of the transfer, that it is possible. Yeah. That's why it takes the presence of God and the presence of the anointed. And the anointed comes with God. The anointed, you see, it should have even been with his anointing. With his anointing. With, he came with it. He came with it into the room. Yes, yeah, because if I go to the room, I'm alone. But when I turn on, when I turn on seven steps to the anointing in the wilderness, when I turn it on, suddenly it's me, Moses, in the presence. And God takes then my dad is at the back. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's how it is. The blessedness of the transference of spirits. He said that they may stand with you there. We cannot stand with our prophet if we don't carry the mantle. Cannot. First love is a big ministry. Mm. I'm telling you. It's a, it's, a, it's a giant ministry. Globally, it's a giant. Yes. And what we are is not yet seen. But you see, you watch. It's a very large ministry. But if we are going to stand... In whatever capacity, if we are going to stand with such a mantle, there needs to be the blessedness of the transference of spirits. Adam, something must be transferred onto you. That, that's the only way Legon will change. The only way a dancer man will be affected is if somebody who is carrying that thing. It's, 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 it's ministering there. That's the only way. Blessedness of the transference of spirits. 
blessedness of the transference of spirits. That's why God said, Joshua, as I was with Moses, so, you see, there's a way God is with people. Like, when I'm with some people, I am a giver. When I'm with other people, I'm mostly silent. When I'm with some people, I share scriptures. When I'm with some people, I share jokes. When I'm with some people, I'm, I'm talking a lot. When I'm with some people, I'm silent. When I'm with some people, I'm asking questions. How am I with you? When God was with Moses, water spoke party. Kingdoms were subdued. He, he collapsed the economy of Egypt with one stick. Collapsed the entire, the world power was brought to its knees by one man. That's how I was with Moses. Different from how I was with Elijah. With Elijah, mostly fire. Mostly fire and a lot of confrontations. And a lot of fasting and wilderness, whatever. And Moses, no, nation, the collapsing of countries down. That's the Moses anointing. So in the way that I was with Moses, that's how I will be when I'm with you. So you, you notice Joshua closing down kingdoms forever. Broke down Jericho, concluded. Finish it, shut down. The Gibeonites closed down. Malachites closed down. Yeah. The blessedness of the transference of spirit. So Richard said, you know, he was standing next to me mm -hmm. at uh, Army of Hard Followers. He said, the sky opened, and I think he said, rays of light started coming down on him. Down on him. He was standing in the middle. I didn't know. I was, I was, you know, he, he says that he was in another world. I, I didn't know what was going on. He was receiving, he calls it the blessedness of the transference. So what about you? Do you have any moments? Do you have any encounters where you could feel something being transferred? I don't know, are you, are you confused by what I'm asking? Yeah, you don't have any? Hello. It's not going to work. Anyone who told you that ministry is you just force? If at first you don't succeed, you try, you try, you try again. Anyone who told you that lie? The person has wounded you. Things are transferred. Things are definitely transferred. And then another mystery, sit down, sit down. Another mystery is that. Another mystery is that. One can go to 70 without diminishing the one. It's mysterious. It's almost like it doesn't finish. He shared it. And you know why I said the church goes anointed? Because this was the church goes anointed. Moses didn't give out his whole mantle. He gave out the mantle to carry the burden of the people. That was the part. It's not easy to carry the full. It's a strong mantle. He just gave out the, the, how, to, how to carry people. That mantle. I believe in this more than any other quality, force, or power that makes ministry successful. I believe in the transference of spirits more than anything else that I know of that causes anything to happen. I believe more in spirits being transferred from one person to another, from one person to 100, from one person to 60, one person to 70. I believe in it. I'll take the spirit that's on you and I'll put a man can receive nothing except it's given to him from above. That's what John said. What do you carry? Timo, what do you have? You don't have anything. You don't have anything. 
you should be thinking so much about how to get something on you. You should say someone on you. All in, you know, it's, it's, it's about facing some facts that it's possible that maybe I've been here for so long. Maybe I've been around for so long. Maybe I'm called pastor, reverend, but honestly, there's a certain concentration and a certain reception I've never had and I've never been serious about the anointing. And as I stand here, I know some verses, I can share with you some revelations, I can repeat some people's teachings, but I can sense that as the man is talking about transfer, I don't think I've got a notification that something has been transferred into your account. It's something that you should be honest about. I'm not talking about a, 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 a theoretical type of transfer. I'm talking about like it's possible that as I'm here, and you know, one of the signs you can see is you can see some people who are catching it. You can look at somebody who is catching the anointing. You can say, no. The person, the person, there's, there's something, the person is changing before your eyes. Maybe God has not blessed you to see one. I have seen one before. I could see that, no. This person is becoming someone else right in front of me. Something is increasing and the, sometimes the, you, you even wonder. Yeah, it, cause some, it can cause holy depression. If you've experienced it before. No, this person is being changed. That's why I said there are no notes. I have enough notes. Just why do more people go to Jesus than you, John the Baptist? Why? Why do more people? Why is it that this one is able to carry the burden of the of so many people? Why is it not happening in that same way to me? What's the reason? What's the real reason? When you get down to it, is it the area? Is it the campus? What is it? Is it education? The blessedness of the transference of spirits. May God bless you with that blessedness. Amen. Yeah, I just want I just want to not be dry. I want to be dry. I want to be dry. You know, I haven't preached physically for almost a year. For more than a year actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, just about a year. Physically, I preached. I was invited to one, two places. Apart from that, I haven't preached physically for one year till two days ago. And one of the reasons is because I, I, I don't want to continue saying the same things. I mean, it's part of ministry is to repeat yourself. It's part of it. Like you just keep on be faithful with what God has told you about. The whole year, all I've been looking for is like an increase in the level. I can preach, I can share some points and some verses, generally to be acceptable. But like, what's the next step? in the next level and what's the price of it and where will I get it from and who will give it to me is there a higher teaching anointing than what I have can I have a larger church I don't so I don't see the, I, I, it, 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 maybe it's not even a good thing but it, it is as, it has, I'm so hungry for something else higher 
And I can see that it's not about force. Dr. Joe's church in the 70s, 12,000 people per service. They have seven services in the main hall. And they have up 2,000 seaters, maybe about 20 of them. Also, four, 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 seven services. It's not because it's Korea. It's not because it's Asia. Somebody said it's time. And it's time. It makes all things beautiful. So once it's time, it was his time. And I, 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 if, even if it's time, the seasons are determined by the Father. So God should make it time for me. He should change the time. And you are there with 40 people. And now they've made a mistake to make you a constituency representative. Is that a mistake? They've made a mistake. So now you are controlling 12 churches. You. Can you carry the burden? 12 leaders, ministries, choirs, dancers, leaders, church planting, expansion, management of people, shepherding, organization, increase growth, the Holy Spirit, ministering, visiting, ministering all your churches. Can you manage? How will you manage it without some mantle and some gift? And you've already planned to manage it with points. You've already written things, ideas you have about it. You've already reviewed, and you don't realize that there must be a transfer. That's why I said, I don't know what to preach about. I don't, know. I don't even know which chapter to preach about again. It's enough. I don't know what else we have to hear. Yesterday and today, you know, we've only had three sessions. This is our third session. Well, for some of you, your second, because you've been asleep this whole session. But that's fine. As I said, does any man desire to oversee? It's, 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 it's wonderful. Do you desire to oversee something? I my handles. Episcopos. A sea of human beings. Oversee. Oversee. Do you have that desire in your heart? Oversee. You have it. You must be vigilant. Is the anointing here? Is there something to receive? Is this the moment? Is this the time? Is this the place? What is this stone that I'm about to put my head on? What is this stone here? That stone is Bethel. That stone is Bethel. So, when I see, you see, when I even see you, You have two camps. I mean, you have two camps. That's all you have. You have two camps. So now you have podcast. But if we draw, she just has to be honest with yourself. Think deeply. How many camps do I have actually? Not that you have some complex something on your laptop. You have some, some arrangements in iTunes and you copy something and really really how many comes do you have organized ready to press play on your phone on your ipod within arm's reach how many how many i'm not looking for a transfer that's why the apostle said of his fullness we have received of his fullness and grace for grace of his fullness his fullness we have received some of the fullness the anointing changes how you think it changes your, your knowledge level anointing makes you know yeah makes you know you have an unction and you know
The spirit is on earth. Oh. He's on earth. He's trapped on earth. The Holy Spirit is trapped on earth. He can't go. And it pains him. That's why he cries, Abba, Father. He misses home. He's trapped here. So, when you say, when you say, when you say, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit who makes you know, God can't pull it from heaven. It's here. Somebody has it. And you take the knowledge of somebody and make you know, you know about, about ministry. You know about the anointing. Eric, to the back, to the back. You know about Eric, to the back, to the back, to the back, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. To the back. You make you know things. Are there things you don't know? You don't learn them. The Holy Spirit teaches you them. You have the unction. Do you have the unction? Then you know. You have the unction. Then you know. know. Do you lack wisdom? Wisdom is how to do things. Like how to how to actually get it done. You lack wisdom. It's called the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask from the father of lights. The father of lights. 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 Wisdom is light. Light. God turns on a light bulb in you and suddenly you are wise. Wiser than your teachers. Wiser than your colleagues. Lifts your level of wisdom. You know, we're about to break. In the next session, we're going to the mystery of impartation. The mystery, mysterious nature of impartation. Do you lack the fear of God? You see, the fear of God is... Is what brings stillness. Until you have the Holy Spirit, you don't have the fear of God. You see, Isaiah talking a lot, a lot of talking, a lot of condemnations and strong woe, woe to others, woe to everybody. A lot of woes. Woe unto you, Israel. Woe unto you, prophets. Woe unto you. Woe unto you. Woe, 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 woe. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. His train. His train. You know, I don't want to divert. Sometimes, sometimes I just feel the Holy Spirit saying some things. You know, what fails the church, if your church is not full, is the train, is the, is the, is the presence of God that fills the church. I'm telling you, the presence of God that fills. I don't want to divert. I don't want to divert the church. I'm talking about the fear of God. It takes a certain fear of God to be fruitful. It takes a certain fear. A certain reverence that. You see, Reverend Adeboye says that. Reverend Adeboye is teaching on church growth. He teaches with, um, uh, he says he uses five words to teach you on how to build a church. I will build my church. Five. That's his teaching. The first one is I. Then he'll go. Then it's will. He'll also do it. Then build. Then my. Then church. Then he finished the teaching. That's his. <laughs> he says I, it means that you can't build a church you cannot build a church it's not your work to build a church god has never called a man to build a church before god has never sent anyone to build a church before god god is the one who builds the church every pastor must know a fear of god this is his church then will he says that it's not an option it's not a suggestion he says, if the church is not being built, it's not a church. If it's a church, then it's being built. Will, for sure. God will. He said, if God ever calls you to do church work, he has called you to one of the greatest assignments on earth because he will. He will build it. He will. Yes. Then he says, build. Build means it's a process. So anybody who is not willing to wait, when you are building a house, one block, Another block, another line, columns, another scene. It's, 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 it's a process. It takes time. If you don't have process to give your life, he says, I've been building this church for years. He said that the person who founded this church said, my spiritual father, he has 70 members. But God was building a church that will span across the world. But it wouldn't be in his lifetime. He wouldn't see it. But God was building it. 
So just allow it. Take, it takes time. Build, build, build. Talk, talking to you about the fear of God. Then he said, my. He said that church said one day his son wasn't going to the toilet. And his son was dying. He couldn't eat because his stomach was full or whatever. He, couldn't, he wasn't going to the toilet. They prayed and prayed and prayed. Five days, the boy didn't eat anything. He was about three years old. And he was dying, became weak, he couldn't even walk. He started praying, Lord, touch my son, Lord, touch my son, I don't know what to do. I don't know. He said, then at the point, they told him that he should give, is it vinegar, cod liver, or something? I forgot, some syrup, something. So he poured, is it cod liver, or cod liver? So he poured the cod liver into a spoon. And then he was giving it to his son. Then his son said, Daddy, can't you pray? The son, can't you pray for me to? He threw the spoon away. He said, God, even my son is asking now. Then God told him, it's your son. You keep asking that you heal your son. It's your son, so you heal him. He said, then he later said, God, heal your son. <laughs> he said, within five minutes, the boy has gone to the toilet, he has eaten his playing football. Within five minutes. Yes. Is it your church? As I said, the fear of God, that's what I'm talking about. It's your church? You are doing something? Many of us pastors, including myself, what we lack is the fear of God. That's right. The a certain calmness that God has come to identify. It's not me. That's it. So even, don't even have too many activities. Don't, don't have too many plans. Too much of you moving and try to also be a bit sensitive to what he's saying right. and what he's doing. Because it's not your church. Yeah. It's the fear of God. It is the fear of God. So when the Holy Spirit comes on you, it brings you the fear of God. God can transfer a fear somebody has. One day I told Prophet, there were some orangus in the church talking and insulting him online, talking back. I told him, these people are doing so, 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 so. He said that. Perhaps God has chosen to humble me. Whatever God wants, he should finish. I said that we should respond, we should say, he will also not lift his hand against God, God's anointed. They are pastors. Even if they are his sons, they are pastors. So he should not. Is there a certain fear like, oh, in, in due time, God will do whatever. I'm afraid of God. I'm aware of God. You don't have it? You don't have it? The spirit of power. 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 Spirit of might. Make you more mighty than you are. Are you mighty? Are you mighty in ministry? God will take the might on another person and transfer it into, into you. Yeah. If God wants to give you might, he can't bring it from heaven because the spirit is trapped here in earthen vessels. There's no church in heaven. There's nothing like that. There's no ministry in heaven. He's here. That's why I said, it, it's important for me to go because when I go, then he will come. We exchange. So now Jesus is in heaven on the right hand enjoying that I did my 33. You to go and do yours. That's all. You don't have to die, so 2,000. More time. <laughs> and the, the precious, royal, majestic, Holy Spirit is here with us. Hallelujah. I know. I know. When I started Town Church, by that time, I was on my 26th church. 26th attempt to start a church. Yes, by the time I started Town Church. I've tried. Branching out. <laughs> church plant. Go here, go here, preaching. Start. I've started a number of churches. Go to this university, start a church. I'll be there for six weeks. Now give someone. Go to another one, start a church. Now go to another one, start a church. Start, start a church. Is, uh, the largest church I ever saw was 30 or 40 people. Started. When I went to Belgium, the, 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 the church, max, when we, we moved from a 25-seater room to a 60-seater room. And in the 60-seater room, the most I ever had was maybe 35, 40 members. On my last day, 42. 42 members. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth. So when I came, no strategies. You see, I've had, I had strategies. I didn't even want to start a church. That was the first thing. I said, no, I'm an administrator. I can see, I can see it, considering rankings. I said, I know, to say I haven't started a church is not fair. I said, 26. You can't say that I haven't started a church. <laughs> rankings. I said, I'm an administrator. 
And one day, prophet called me and blasted me in a meeting. No, Joshua, you can't just be here. You say you're doing construction, you're doing administration. Who should pay you? Who should, who should work and pay you? You should go. You should also have a church on the side of the mountain. But the way it was, no. What do you do? So I went to start the church. But this time, he said, if God would do the church, you should do it. Yeah, I don't have any plan. I don't have any strategy. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Just praying. Power. 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 I was lying on my brother's bed, praying. Praying, 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 praying. And my pastor had been praying for about seven or eight hours. Normal Wednesday. I wasn't, I wasn't in Mampo. I was at home. Wednesday evening. Wednesday morning. And I was reading the scriptures. If I was reading somebody's sermon. And then I saw the verse in the sermon. Surely, Isaiah 53, he has borne our griefs. I stood up. I have really told me, oh, come on, I grew up in church. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. I don't know, I don't know what came into me. I stood up beside my brother's bed. From that day till today, I've never struggled to pray for the sick. You see, you can argue with me. You know, I'll bring you testimonies. I have pictures and videos I can show you. You can argue with me. You've been there anyway. I don't think it's even a fact. You've been there. You've been around before. Or you've not been around. You've been around, yes. From that day, power comes from the Holy Spirit. Power comes from the Holy Spirit. There was a transference. I believe that that day there was a transference. The blessedness of the trust. What, what, what power are you using to do your work? What power are you using? I shouldn't say that I'm using power. I'm, I'm using power to do my work. I respect rankings, but I'm using power to do my work. I'm using power to do my work. I can't lie to you. Because so there, there are powers at work. Might, wisdom, knowledge, the fear of God. You don't have all this working for you. The spirit of the Lord. That's the presence of God himself. It's very easy for me to ask. Is God, is God with you? Is God, is God in aunties and uncles? Is it simple? I can't answer. You tell me. Is he there? Pastor G, when you're having leaders meetings, is he you see there? sitting there? He's not. It's not a fight. It's not a fight. It's not an argument. Is God there in an account? Is he that there or is not? And I'm open, I'm open to whichever answer you have, but I'm just asking a question. It's time, it's time for contemplation. Think individually. Think individually. If you walk into a meeting, is God coming into the meeting? The Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord. And when you say yes, then you are saying that this is the church that he built when he came. <laughs> that no man can do these things except God was with him. So can I look at when I come to your church on Thursday? And I stand in front of the Can I say, no, David Yali, accept God. This is accept God. Or I'll say, Echo Bank could do this. God forbid. Blessedness of the transference of spirits. Do you lack something? Is there a gap? Is there any gap? What spirit is it and where is it? Yeah. Then you need the mystery of impartation. Mysterious. You can read ahead, though. You can, did you read ahead yesterday? Oh, you should read it. Don't read ahead. Why not? You should read ahead so that you know that. About the blessedness of the transference of spirits. It's right there. Chapter something. You can check it. Feel free. Feel free. All right. All right. From today, you can teach. From today, Danny, you see, Danny, the deep question is that. So, what was he doing before that? Do you know the answer to that question? What we are doing? <laughs> That's what he was doing. <laughs> Officers and elders. Officers. Officers. Generally, in the system. Preach, if you had asked him that I see preach, you can't say he doesn't preach. It's not fair on him. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. 
a few students in Kolebu yeah. giving offerings, believing hey. God. Sit one is Tuesday service, they sit in a circle. But from today, you see, there is a day of the transfer. Recently, I made a transfer somewhere. And the person secretary called me and said, the wire has been received. The wire has been received. There's a wire. There's a wire. You can't hold it. You can't hold it, but it has been wired. You can't hold it. That day in Suhum, when he knelt down and he had the, he, when he woke up, he could have said, Lord, the wire, the wire from Hagen has been received. From today, blessedness of the transference. What can't you do? What can't you do? As uh, Kenneth Copeland and Jimmy Savell and Oye Depo and Adeboye, they were in Tausa. Hands were being laid. El Dad was in Suhum. Yes. From today, you can. You can. You can. Dunamis. You have the ability to. You can. From today. Yesterday you couldn't teach, but from today. I, 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 I don't know. It's mysterious. It's mysterious. Eastern region, so. Kadopo Tamande Kabradi Kazan. From today, you can. Peter Zura, there is a day. There is a day. You know, here the tells the same story. I felt a coin drop through me, into me. And from that day, I used to shout. I used to jump. I used to sweat. But from that day, the serenity of the teaching mantle of Hagen. I need your anointing, Lord. I need. The serenity of the teaching mantle of Hagen. from Otter, Nigeria. The serenity of the teaching mantle of Hagen descended. And you know Hagen has the same experience? Hagen had the same experience. From today you can teach. He had those exact same words. From today you can teach. If you can receive it. It's not a doctrine. It's just an idea. It's a thought. <laughs> from Kolegono to the world. No, from Kolebu. From Kolebu to the world. That teaching anointing. I moved them from the classroom to the corridor. Which which sea are you on? Which sea? There are seas. Which sea are you on? The first sea is the classroom. And they moved them from the classroom to the canteen. No, to the corridor. From the classroom to the corridor. Then from the corridor to the canteen. Then he moved him from the canteen to the cathedral. Then from the cathedral to the crusade. And from the crusade to the center. Where are you? Where do you stand? Which sea are you on? Are you in the classroom? That, that, that transference, it moved the chest. From the classroom to the corridor. And the authorities at the, at the uh, uh, place thought that they can close the church. They can close the church. But it was late. There was a transfer. The wire has been received. Yes. The, 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 what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that, I've been in church, I've been praying, I've been doing this, I've been around, I've been here, I'm whatever, I'm called pastor, elder, officer, but today I can say confidently that the wire has been received. That's what we're waiting to hear. That's what we're waiting to hear.
Lord help us. May the Lord guide us. May the Lord bless us. In Jesus' name. The blessedness of the tongue. Do you feel the anointing? Feel the presence of God? Something in the air. There's something in the air. We are elder than me, Dad. We are elder than me, Dad. Forbid them to prophesy, Lord. Stop those guys. Stand to your feet, lift your hands. Pray for yourself. Just begin to speak in tongues, I believe. Holy Spirit is here. Blessedness, transference of spirits. You may be out that. Your background, where you are, people rule you out, people cancel you. But the spirit will rest on you also. The spirit will rest on you also. Bless your holy name. Jesus name in Jesus name Lord we thank you for a blessed time in your presence Lord we see gaps we see so many gaps Lord so many holes so we pray for you to help us may we one day say the wire has been received blessedness the transference of spirits I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated.